So if you guys are going through a really rough period right now, emotionally or whatnot, trust yourself. Don't berate yourself. Don't get down on yourself. Don't be so mad at yourself. <laughs> Just keep going. Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general daily energy reading, yes? So please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that this could, like the roles could be reversed here, yeah? So just take it as it resonates, place it into your life as it fits. Don't try to place anything into your life that doesn't fit naturally, yeah? So um, also keep in mind that this is a timeless reading, so uh, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Just like I mentioned yesterday, if you would like to dive down the rabbit hole of morning coffee and, you know, see if there could be some other guidance for you that would be applicable at this time, you can go ahead and check out this playlist or uh, you, well, yes, you could check out this playlist and I highly recommend that you uh, pay close attention to the title of the reading and not the date because the date is irrelevant, time is an illusion, and energies are fluid, right? So um, it would. what's more important for you to focus on would be the title of the reading because that will give you an, a look or some insight into how the reading may resonate for you, if it will resonate for you or not. Yes? Okay, guys. So, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I don't really have anything to say to start. Uh, I do want to say, first of all, I do want to point out that literally as soon as I sat down, not sat down, but as soon as I started recording and started talking, my third eye started to open up and now my sinuses are acting up. Like, I swear to you guys, yes, I suffer from allergies, and thank you all for um, the suggestions and everything, but it literally has to do with channeling, period. Like, I have been fine all morning, and now that I'm sitting here doing this right now, I feel everything opening up, and my sinuses are starting to act up. And just like yesterday, uh, well, and, and, and not just like yesterday, but yesterday... As soon as I finished morning coffee, finished recording, and started like uploading it to my computer so I could start the editing process, sinus is cleared up. So there you have it. Um, today is a, <laughs> I'm not really gonna get into it, but um, yesterday was a pretty rough day for me, emotionally, and today seems to be a continuation of that. Um, as I'm, I'm only going to go this far into it here, uh, but I'm doing a lot of heart chakra work right now. And, and this heart chakra work is centered on forgiveness. Because, um, well, okay, I guess we can talk about this. So, story time. Um, yesterday, so many of you know that I, I follow Queen Cup here on YouTube, right? And I've gotten to the point where I really only watch certain people. There, there are really only two people that I watch right now. One of them being Molly of Real Housewives of Tarot, but mainly just because she's a friend of mine and I love her vibe and, you know, and I just, I just watch, I like watching her readings a lot of the time. But then um, the other one that I look to, that I actually really look to for guidance, like real guidance, is Queen Cup. And <clears throat> she did a live session yesterday that really struck me to my core. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, it's about this new moon transition and it's about light workers versus dark work, dark workers. It's really interesting session. Um, it's a very insightful session. I highly recommend that you guys check it out. But uh, a lot of what she said in that reading like really hit me, like really triggered me. And I had been going through a bit, quite some pretty strong emotions yesterday. Um, and what I'm facing, the emotions that I'm dealing with are no different than what I've been dealing with for the last few months. <laughs> Um, but I'm starting to understand that this is me working, like really doing the heart chakra work now. Um, 
because I've come to the understanding that I'm extremely resentful. And not only am I resentful um, and, and mistrustful of like life and humans and people, but the biggest, the biggest hurdle for me right now is that I'm very, very resentful and really quite, mis dis is it mistrustful or distrustful? Whatever, I don't trust spirit enough or as much as I should. And I'm actually very, very resentful of spirit. And to be quite honest with you guys, I was not planning, I was really not looking to talk about this on YouTube, but here we are. I'm not going to go into the details. I'll probably go into the details in Patreon. I do feel like it's a, something that I should talk about over on Patreon. Um, because also I just want to give some background as to where I am right now so people understand what I'm going through. Um... But that session really hit me very, very hard yesterday. And I had been going through, you know, I had been going through the motions. I had go, been going through the paces all day, but it's like that, that, that reading, that live session was like really on time. And it's funny because even, even in it, she was like, she didn't even really want to do it, but spirit was like, no, the message needs to come through right now. And so I highly encourage you guys, if you, if you, if you don't know of her, which I doubt at this point, those of you that are still watching me, you've heard me mention her before, but Queen Cup, one word, she's on YouTube, she's excellent, she's one of my favorites. Um, but that, what she said in that session really helped me understand how mistrustful and how resentful or distrustful, whatever, I am of spirit and of my guides specifically. Um, my guides, my ancestors, just the higher spiritual realms as a whole. Like there's a part of me right now that's having a shit ton of trouble trying to understand how people can go through or beings can go through experiences like these and we're expected to like come out on top or come out all loving love and light and 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 and, and forgiving and forgiving and and it's like how and i'm not even gonna say that like i don't i'm not trying to diminish my personal experience but i'm not going to say that i had the worst experience i'm sure i do know of individuals that have had much worse experiences respectful respectively like i mean like and I, and it's hard, I, I sh probably shouldn't even be saying that because everybody's experience is valid and it's what's necessary for the growth of that soul. However, I just can't, part of me, I'm like really having trouble. I'm really, like, it, I'm really having trouble with that. Um, and it even, like, it was reflected when I, it was reflected in a dream that I had this morning, um, which I'm not going to get into, but, uh, at least not here. Um, I do feel like I want to talk about it, but I'm not going to talk about it here. Um, so yeah, that's where I am right now. Like it even, it, that's where I am right now. <laughs> so, all right. So with that said, let's get into today's message and see what spirit have, has for us today or what we want to talk about today. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wait, sorry, before I start, we are going to be using, continuing with the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. And you know, it doesn't, it, it really just hit me, it, like it doesn't escape me, or at this point, it's not escaping me how we're using the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. And I personally am going through some, doing, dealing some, dealing with some strong heart chakra work. <laughs> So there's that. And then our our um, clarifier is the Los Carabello deck. This is one of my favorite decks and I did decide to get it out of my car th this morning. So we get to use it, yay. Okay, and then we'll cross the Oracle Bridge when we get there, yeah? All right, kids, here we go. Let's see what we've got for today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. 
please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, circumstances, relationships, and places in which we need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys, hold on. I got to pause because I was literally holding in a sneeze that whole time. Cute little tidbit. I paused the recording at 1010. <laughs> that's actually a number that's been, that I've been seeing a lot lately. Along with 1111. Um, so <clears throat> I went to bed a little late last night and... I was, I wasn't tired and I like, I, 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 well, I really wasn't sleepy, but so, but anyway, I was just laying there watching the Great British Baking Show just to like wind down. Um, and eventually I heard myself say, okay, it's time for bed now. And I was like, okay. So I got up and, um, I went to go turn off my TV in the PlayStation and I looked and it was 11, 11. Like I turn, I, I hit, I, I watched everything through like my PlayStation on my TV and I hit the, the button to like turn it off and it was 11.10 and just as I noticed it was 11.10, it changed to 11.11. So, and then 10.10, 10, oh my God, 11.11 again. Whoa, whoa, I did, whoa, okay. Um, so in regards to what I'm going through personally, obviously I'm in the right place. I'm doing the right things. So if you guys are going through a really rough period right now, emotionally or whatnot, um, trust yourself. Don't berate yourself. Don't get down on yourself. Don't be so mad at yourself. <laughs> Don't be so mad at yourself. I'm going to cry. Um, just keep going. You know, the hardest thing about all of this for me, I know I said we, we're we past story time right now, but like, whatever. Um, the hardest thing for me is <laughs> resentment of, for myself. Um, yeah, that's hard. I've been hearing a lot. I, I hear this a lot, but I've been hearing it a lot lately. And the phrase is, why are you so hard on yourself? And I, and I also keep hearing, I'm sorry. Uh, and I keep asking who is saying that. And I keep hearing it's my higher self. And when I, and then when I hear that phrase yesterday, it hit me this way, but I heard that phrase again. I was like, why, why are you so hard on yourself? And that translated into more than just me, like Eric, this physical being or this, this physical individual, right? This physical personality it also translated into not only my higher self, but the rest of the universe. Because we're all one. Like, the universe is us. We are the universe. And, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. So let's, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm rambling. Let's get into this. Let's get into this here. Five shuffles, one. Whoa. Let's try that again. Try that again, okay. <laughs> One, two, three, 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 three. That's another re message or number that's been repeating for me lately. Three, three, three. This is three. Four. Alrighty, kids. What have we got going on today? What do we want to talk about today? Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune, 
And you have that with the world underneath. Okay. First card that came out is the Seven of Wands. And as soon as the Seven of Wands came out, I heard defensiveness. And I'm hearing extreme defensiveness. This is, once again, my life on display. Because the dream that I had that really triggered, well, the uh, part of the, I had like, I had like a, two dream cycles. Well, I'm sorry, I should say two scenarios. The second one was extremely triggering. And it showed me just how angry, I mean, I know I can get very, very angry. Like I know technically, I guess in some situations you could, some would say I, could, I have an anger issue. Not so much anymore. When I was a kid, I really had an anger issue. Um, I, it was like I, I, I was very much addicted to anger. But as an adult now, you know, I've <clears throat> been able to like curb that a little bit. But there are still some situations where if you catch me at the right time or if you hit me the right way, I'm not saying physically, but like if you hit me with the wrong shit the right way, I will fucking blow up at you. And like it's it's in some cases... I scare myself because it 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 will it will um, accelerate from anger to rage very very quickly. Hmm. So in this dream, in the second half of this dream, some a, ser a scenario played out in which my extreme form of defensiveness and anger. And resentment, resentment and aggressiveness was put on display. And when I heard the seven, when I saw the seven of wands here, that's exactly what I heard. Extreme defensiveness. Or just defensiveness, but okay. But you have the seven of wands. You have it with the three of wands. And the three of wands came out and it fell face down. So, so what this is saying so far, and please excuse me, I'm, um, I'm doing my best to tell this story or channel this message for us in a way that doesn't directly reflect my life, <laughs> um, because I'm trying not to make this about me. However, Spirit just said to me, your experience is on display here for a reason. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to say it like I feel it. What I feel is happening here is part of what our... Okay, fine. Part of what the collective is dealing with right now is... Laying down the defenses. Trying not to be so resentful. I really feel like you guys should watch, if you're resonating with this right now, I really feel like you should watch Queen Cup's live stream from yesterday. In the title, I don't remember exactly what the title is, but the title does include like new moon shifts and uh, light worker versus dark worker or something like that. But what she talked about in that reading is definitely coming through here today. So dealing with the, 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 defense, the defensiveness. And actually, okay, I do recognize how relevant this is because somebody posted in the comments last week on Morning Coffee about how they don't know how to release the resentment. And I didn't respond to that comment because I didn't, I didn't know how to respond to that comment. Um, in a short and concise way. So I really hope that the person that left that, I can't remember if it's morning coffee. I think it was more, one of the morning coffee readings, but I really hope that person is watching because this is what we're talking about right now. I, I have been going through a period, an extended period of not understanding how to release resentment either. Um, because again, I couldn't consciously wrap my head around all of the betrayal, all of the backstabbing, all of the bullshit, 
all of the rejection, all of the roadblocks, all of the ways that I just, I, all the ways that I have been a black sheep in life and not just with my family, with the whole fucking world. Like, I don't, I, I haven't been able to reconcile with that. I haven't been able to wrap my head around it. I haven't been able to understand why things like that happen. And yes, okay, in theory, I can sit here and say, well, you know, we're all here to have this type of experience so that we can learn from it and grow from it. But it just, it's gotten to the point where it feels so traumatic and it feels so painful that I don't want to just give in to the light and just forgive, but I also don't want to give in to the darkness and sink down into a place where I want to make other people suffer because of it. Quite frankly, I just want to disappear into nothing. Like, part of me has just been like, is there a reset button? Can you just like wipe me out of existence altogether? Because I don't want to, I don't want to forgive you. And I definitely don't want to be a part of your fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, But that's this, Seven of Wands. And right now, our path or the momentum on our path is having us deal with this because this Seven of Wands energy, this extreme defensiveness is a cycle that keeps playing over and over and over. And right now we need to work on letting that go, ending that cycle. But quite frankly, we have to choose to do so. Two of Wands. And then the Seven of Swords is underneath that. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I think, and, and I think this is why the cycle is repeating over and over again. And now that I see this, I recognize it in myself as well. But you also have the Seven of Wands, which was underneath the Two of Wands. And to me, that feels like we're deceiving ourselves in certain cases. Because we say to ourselves, yeah, okay, I'm going to choose to forgive. I'm going to choose to let go. I'm going to choose to move forward all with our fingers crossed behind our backs. Like, yeah, okay. Like, sure. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then turn around and don't. And that's a problem. I, and in some cases, yes, it does feel like it's a situation in which we are lying to ourselves, lying to spirit, thinking that we can get away with it, but we can't. And it's not, in, it's not for any other reason, just that the fact that the energy and the vibration that we're holding does not match what we're saying we're choosing to move to. It's not that because, oh, we have some like some parent or some overseer over us watching us like a hawk saying, oh, you said you're going to do this, that, and the third, but look, you did this, that, and the sixth. Mm -hmm. I'm, about to, I'm about to get your ass. Like, no, it's not even like that. It's more a matter of the energies just don't match. You can't say you are releasing resentment or you're forgiving and you're letting go and not be in that in that vibration. I don't know how else to say it, but and I understand there are going to be some people that are a little triggered by that saying, well, I just don't know how to get there. That's fine. That's what we're working on. But specifically, what I feel like this is talking about is those of us that say that we're doing it but don't actually get into that alignment with it. And it's not easy, it's work. And it's that work that to me feels like, why, why, in, the, why in God's name should I do that? Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. But why should I do that? Why should I turn around and forgive you? Y'all, and I'm, I'm talking to the light here. Y'all are all seeing, you, are, you, are, you have all these higher perspectives and you mean to tell me you didn't see this shit coming or you mean and like and then it turns and then I turn around on myself and it's like, well, I'm the one that chose to come down here, aren't I? And then the, the, the resent and then the resentment cycle just keeps cycling. Let's go a little further, please, spirit. 
uh, what else can you tell us? What else? What other guidance do you have for us moving forward in, the, in terms of this? Oh, well, that's good. Oh, <laughs> well, that's really good. I like seeing that. Um, Ten of Swords, the star. So the healing is underway. But in order for the healing to happen. And yes, there is a level of mystery here with this star energy. What I'm getting is that we don't. We don't really know where we're going to end up at the end of this. We don't know what's going to happen once we really uh, sufficiently move through it. But we don't need to know that right now. Because that's not the focus here. The focus is this. Seven of Cups. So in this healing process represented by the star, in this process of ending this cycle, Ten of Swords, there are a lot of things that we have to weed through. Seven of Cups. And yes, this is going to take some time, guys. This is not going to be easy and it's not going to happen overnight because we have to go through each and every one of these seven cups and handle it, deal with it, come to terms with it, release the resentment from it, forgive. And yes, I'm going to say this, forgiveness is not for anyone else but your own self. It ain't even for the divine. It ain't even for spirit. Because what I just heard is spirit knows who you are and spirit loves you for who you are and spirit has always forgiven you. You are. We are the ones that need to learn how to forgive. So we have to go through each and every one of these cups. And for some of us, no, it's not just seven cups. For many of us, it's like a plethora. It's a whole collection, the whole kit and caboodle. It's a shit ton of shit, right? <laughs> but we have to go through each and every one of these items and handle them and deal with them because they are burdening us. They are bogging us down, 10 of wands. We have to find the balance in all of this. And when we do, that's when a new day or a new dawn, a new opportunity will arise. But we're going to have to work for it. Eight of Pentacles. But you see, the eight to the ace makes the nine. And the nine represents... Hard work paying off. The nine represents sovereignty. The nine represents stability. The nine represents abundance. The nine of pentacles represents strength and autonomy. So this is what we're working towards. And yes, I did just hear, we're going to have to fight for it. But it's not that you're fighting for it like you're fighting for your life. You're fighting for it because you're doing the hard, consistent, day after day after day type of work. And it's not going to let up. It's not going to ease up until you get through it. Let's get into some clarification, yeah? All right, five shuffles. One. Two. Three. All right, we're 
We're going to start with the Ten of Swords here. Yeah. What can you tell us about the Ten of Swords? Please, Spirit, just some clarity. Okay. Okay, that's all that wanted to come out. Okay, good. At the bottom of the deck, you have the sun. And in this situation, the sun represents clarity and represents illumination. Um, the clouds are parted. Yes, I am hearing that. I can see clearly now the rain is gone, right? But you also have that with the page of pentacles. This literally is a brand new start. Okay, this is you reaching the pinnacle of what it is that you've experienced in the past, letting go from it, healing it, letting go of it, healing from it, and then moving on to the next chapter in your soul's existence. I don't even want to say your life because it's not about that. This is all about moving to the next chapter of your soul's existence, your soul evolution. Okay. The sun is a beautiful, oh shit. Y'all. Mm. Underneath the sun is none other than that nine of pentacles. I just saw 111. 111 is also a number that's been following me around. I've been seeing that a lot lately. But it's the nine of pentacles. Look at that. And then what's underneath the nine of pentacles? The ten of pentacles. There's that real completion. And then the Ace of Cups. Yes, Orion. How may I help you, baby boy? Come here, you. You want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Oh, I gotcha. Say hi, Orion. Look, here's my pretty baby boy. Hi, Orion. What's the matter? I know, I got coffee breath. Are you okay? Anyway, he's probably going to put his butt all up in the... We, we you won't. We'll sit right there then. No, stay right there, Orion. That's fine. You can stay there. Anyway, sorry. Um, so you have the sun, which is coming out. Illuminate. Now there's fur everywhere. Good Lord. <laughs> the sun's coming out, illuminating everything. Changing your life experience is what I just heard. And yeah, this is going to burn. This is going to burn. You know what? Sidebar. Um, there's another video that I recommend people watch. And I mentioned this last week. Uh, I think it was during happy hour, but it's a, it's a video by Gigi Young, G-I-G-I, Gigi Young. Um, and it talks about the sun. And unfortunately, I don't remember the title of that reading. Uh, it wasn't a reading. She's not a reader. She's a psychic. Um, she's a clairvoyant, I believe. Uh, so, and she does, she, she's not a card reader, but, um, she's done a lot of, she talks about Lemuria and Atlantis and, um, you know, how there are certain things that happen that are like occult rituals that happen in plain sight. She, her content is really, really interesting. And I was going through a, a pretty rough, I was having a pretty rough day and I just, it was, I think it was Wednesday. I think it was whatever. Um, but, and I was watching her video. I find her very, very comforting. Um. But she was talking about the sun in one session and how our sun helps, provides us with the tools or the, the codes, the downloads, the codes, the gen genetic codes and whatnot, maybe not genetic codes, but the energetic codes that help our ascension as humans. Um, it's a really, really interesting topic and actually... I know this is such a sidebar, you guys, but this kind of feels relevant, so I'm going to talk about it. Do you guys remember last week when I was talking about, well, yes, either last week or during, if you watch the air sign readings for March, not March, excuse me, for April, um, you know that I had, right before I did the, the monthly air sign readings for the month of April, I had this, I had a really disturbing dream the night before in which people, there was like this group of young adolescent people um, symbolically speaking, of course, who were being manipulated and it looked like they were being drugged. Um, and the sunlight was literally limited 
the amount of sunlight that they received. Well, first it was a vision of like these people around me and then all of a sudden they would turn gray and everything would do. And I would hear that sound too, to, to symbolize the, the how the energy was, was dropping. And they would get these really creepy smiles on their faces as if they were being like drugged or something, very Stepford wife type energy. Um, and at the very end of that, of that um, sequence, I noticed I was I, I was I was made aware of the fact that the amount of sunlight that these individuals were receiving was being manipulated, was being reduced, um, was but ultimately was being manipulated. Like they were they they were so there was somebody in control that was limiting the amount of sunlight that people got. And then days later, I was watching this video by Gigi Young, and it 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 it, it um intrigued me because I'm very interested in how the sun is evolving and how it's helping us evolve. And she talked about that. She talked about how in these cycles in which the sun starts to change and it starts to intensify and the amount of upgrades that humanity receives intensifies and which which makes perfect sense because our sun is changing. There are a lot of people that are saying it's turning from like this golden yellow to white. Um, it's the frequency of the sun is getting higher and higher and higher and that's helping us evolve and look at what's going on in the world right right now around us right well what Gigi says in this situ in this in this in, uh, in terms of this situation is whenever this cycle happens there's always a group of people that refuse to evolve and then in turn work to limit or reduce the amount of sunlight that people get or manipulate the way that the sun, that people interact with the sun so that they cannot accept or receive what the sun is offering us. And so the sun being here in this situation is that illumination, is that awareness I'm hearing, is that wake up call that allows you to stand on your own, allows you to effectively end this cycle, learn this lesson. The Ten of Pentacles here is absolutely speaking of the lesson that is to be learned here, and thus to find a greater sense of self-love, unconditional love, which ultimately will set us off on our path. I want to say of righteousness. All right, fine, whatever. I mean, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> you know? Wow. That was a really long-winded, crazy-ass tangent, but I hope it made sense. I really, I highly recommend, so two readings that I think, or two videos that I highly recommend that you guys watch. Uh, starting with Queen Cup and her live session, um, talking about, uh, what was the, uh, well, light worker versus dark worker, and, and the light worker versus dark worker, and dark worker, excuse me, and um, the shifts in the new moon cycle. And then also Gigi Young and her video in terms of sunlight and the evolution. I unfortunately don't remember the title of that reading, but anyway, maybe I'll share it. I'll, maybe I'll share both of them in the community section for you guys to watch so it's much easier. Like I'll find the video and then I'll post it in the community section so you guys can watch it, yeah. Okay, last thing I want to look at here is the star. So what is this star energy, please, Spirit? But like, okay, wait, I'm not done. Because with the sun situation, look at what's happening. First of all, I think it was Bill Gates, or was it was either Bill Gates or Elon Musk. Elon Musk has been... Um, pioneering this satellite system that's just going to destroy if he does it it's going to destroy our vision of the stars because he's just looking to launch this plethora of satellites that's just fine and then the other one but that specifically the other one is i think bill gates was working on wanting to pop a balloon this massive balloon in our atmosphere to block out the sun Let that marinate. I need to start this. Yeah, see, you see what comes out? <laughs> I'm sorry. What just, this is a total sidebar, a total tangent. I'm gonna get to the star in a second, but look what came out. The King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Materialism and control. Someone thinking that they, they, that they, that they know best in terms of materialism and they're gonna do, it, do whatever the fuck they want. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just don't, ugh. 
I need to reshuffle. We're gonna look at the star here. Yeah, just get some last, how many of this to reshuffle? One. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine, two. I just saw that, which boils down to a twelve, which boils down to a three. So three, three. Okay, but you might want to look up that number. This is three, <laughs> and we're doing three shuffles. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the star here, just the last bit of guidance, clarity in terms of the star. What is the star here, please, spirit? Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Okay. Okay, y'all. Ooh, all right. There's the sun again. But I laughed because to clarify the star comes the star. <laughs> uh, with that is the Knight of Wands, okay? Um, the Ace of Wands, and then one more card that's fallen face down, the Nine of Cups now. So what this is saying here is the healing process that we're going through right now is going to help awaken us, is going to help activate us further. But also the point here is that it's going to help us feel much happier, much more content emotionally. You have two representations of wish fulfillment, the star and the nine of cups. So what this healing process is bringing is not just healing and not just wish, wish fulfillment, but emotional contentment. And it's going to help those of us that have been feeling blocked or have been feeling unmotivated. It's going to help us get motivated. The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Look here. And this is something I'm feeling very strongly. Don't you dare ask me how long that's going to take. And actually... This might be some strong energy from, no, it's mine. Because people have been asking me, well, how long is that going to take? Bitch, I don't know. Don't you think I'm asking myself the same question? Like, damn. Don't even ask. Just let it happen. Ultimately, we will be taken care of. I know that's hard to understand and that's hard to wrap your head around. My, I mean, my ego is kind of flaring up too, being like, how the fuck is this? How long is this a man? It's like, you just, just sit down and shut up, please. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right. Closing Oracle guidance is coming from the Lightworker Oracle, okay? Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Alrighty, y'all. Closing Oracle Guidance. Here we go. Alrighty. What do we have? <laughs> Card number eight. Star Child. And I'm not even sure. I'm not even, I don't, I don't know. There's reassurance in this. I guess. So we're going to read it. Um, and I think I may end up reading this whole thing just because I feel like there's a lot of relevance in it. So here we go. Star child. The light of the stars exists in you. The earth wants you to share that light with humanity. You are asked to understand that you are meant to be here that you have spiritual work to accomplish. Give up the idea that you belong somewhere else to another home in the stars. Instead, let the starlight of your inner being shine here on earth, where it shall make such a positive difference in the world. Fall in love with earth's beauty. She can and will support you in all ways. 
Have you been dreaming of other places you would prefer to be? Are you wondering if there is more to life on this planet than suffering and struggle? Perhaps you have a mission, yet you doubt that you can succeed. Perhaps you love your life here, but yearn to experience the spiritual purity that exists in the higher vibrational fields of the stars. You may feel like a tourist in need of a fix of your home language to endure adapting to a very different world. Grounding yourself here on Earth enables you to fulfill your life mission. You cannot accomplish this without feeling that you belong here. Your feet need to be planted on the Earth. Relax and trust that you are meant to be here. You have a special light to share and a particular spiritual vibration to live so that the quotient of embodied spiritual light on the earth increases. You are part of an important team of spiritual beings working to assist humanity to grow spiritually. The challenge for a star-seated soul is to accept human beings as they are without despairing over their darker side. The violence may frighten you, but your love will help humanity learn to use that violence to dismantle old structures and create new ways of being. It can be channeled to energize humanity with a can-do attitude towards creating a more loving and functional world. Remember, you came to this planet to learn to help to, to learn and to help heal others. You agreed to take this journey because you can, ex uh, can assist both the earth and humanity to evolve their frequency. It is possible and you are helping make it so. There are three truths that will help you embrace your journey on this planet. Firstly, you carry the purity of your star ancestry in your heart. You can return through meditation or relaxation at any time. You often return to your starborn home during sleep. The loved ones from that place are very aware of your journey here and are helping every step of the way. They send you frequencies from home, like divine care packages, which fuel you for your earthly task. Secondly, you are so filled with love that you are capable of loving all on this planet. You have compassion even for those who are very wounded and fearful and, at times, act out in ways of violence, cruelty, and ignorance. Now, the human capacity for courage, compassion, and light is increasing. Your work as part of the team of light loving beings is already having an effect. Thirdly, as a star-seated being, you have special resources for your journey here on earth. You are every spirit, I'm sorry, your every spiritual request and need will be met by a loving team of helpers. You get to have a lot of fun in your healing mission if you so choose. It doesn't only have to be hard work, though of course, sometimes it will be. Just remember that the stars shine with joy in the sky, and you can shine as a star with joy upon the earth. This is your nature. This is how you can best fulfill your life mission. Yeah, so that was extremely relevant, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so, so, so very much. And I need you to know how much I appreciate you and your presence with me on this journey. I mean, I know a lot of you keep telling me how I have been helpful to you, but I need you guys to understand just how helpful you have been to me, okay? Um, <laughs> it's a very reciprocal situation. So, and I love you all for it, okay? Okay, I'm going to stop crying on camera now. I'm gonna, and I, and I, I, I love you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Bye.